Hey, how's it going? My name is Orit and welcome to the Esatino Artist channel. If you're new to this channel, we release lots of tips and tutorials on marketing, making money online, mindset stuff for creative entrepreneurs. So in this video, I'm going to share with you something that will be especially helpful for you freelancers out there or for any sort of service-based business of yours, so where you're providing services to clients and you need a tool to keep track of your client projects. So this right here in front of me is my client project tracker. And at first glance, it kind of looks like an Excel spreadsheet, but it's not. It is so much more and it has been so helpful in terms of keeping track of where everyone is and what they need and due dates and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So for those of you who don't already know, I do digital media design. So that means I'll design any sort of digital assets that a client might need all the way from course materials, workbooks, PDFs, lead magnets, guides, all that kind of stuff, all the way to social media graphics, business cards, flyers, handouts, so both print and digital design. So my clients will often need one of these things or more than one of these things, and I need to keep track of what is each project, who is my client, due dates, what are the project notes, because often those notes get lost in emails or somewhere else and I always have to go back to the email when I'm ready to start working on the project and scroll through to find the information, to grab the attachments, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I also need to know the status of where things are at. So this client project tracker was created in a software, not software, but an online tool called Airtable. And there's, it's totally free. There is a free version, um, but you can upgrade if you wanna get the payment plans. I'm using the free version, so you don't need to uh, upgrade unless you want more out of the tracker. So I'm gonna put a link to this in the description below uh, that you could head off to and check this out. But I wanna show you how I created this because when you first get an Airtable account and you log into your Airtable, it's, it, it's, it was kind of confusing at first. So each sort of workspace is called a base and right off the bat they give you templates so they give you bases that are already templated for you um, in terms of what you need so digital content calendar event marketing all that kind of stuff these are like kind of stock templated let's call them spreadsheets for lack of a better word because base is kind of confusing so in this they had um you know, I went through all of these and they didn't really have what I needed. Like if you open one of these things, for example, content marketing management, you can see how in depth these things go, by the way, you can create like a pretty crazy spreadsheet. Um, but I didn't need anything that complicated, right? I just wanted something pretty straightforward. So what I did was, and what you can do as well is I'm going to go back here. You want to add a base. So you're going to create one from scratch and I called mine client project tracker. So when you create it, um, you're gonna say start from scratch. You can name it. So I'll just do this test. Um, this is just, you know, modifying what you want the icon to look like. So let's just ignore that for now and click into it. So it's going to be, it's kind of gonna look like a spreadsheet, just like plain spreadsheet. Um, this is what my client tracker looks like. So in terms of how to customize this, you really need to ask yourself, what do you need? Uh, for me, going back to my tab here, I needed the client name, I needed the project type, uh, which, by the way, I'll show you how to create these different options. I needed a space for notes, status, so to choose different options, I can go in here and select where the project is at design in progress, in revision, that kind of thing, um, and a due date, selecting a due date. Another thing that you don't see in here, so I've, I've hid some of the columns just to protect confidentiality of my clients. Um, I had an amount, so the, the dollar amount of the project will be 
in the column here and it will actually add up you can see in total how much you've made and you can sort it by like month if you want to see how much you made for that month if you want to see how much you made for the year which is handy when it comes to accounting uh, accounting purposes too and another column is attachments so whenever like i said i get the email from the client I put in the notes of what they need in this area over here. I just paste it in. And then I also have an attachments column, which I will, it's, it's already created in here actually, um, where you can drop files into here automatically and it'll save them for you. And when it comes time to work on the project, you can just come directly into this tracker, look at the notes, grab the attachments, the, st the assets that you need to start working and just go at it. These at the top here are your columns and they're the different types of columns that you can create. Like I said, I have name, notes, um, attachments. You can also see project type and status. So I think status is really important as a tracker, as having a client tracker. So I'm going to show you how to create that. So these are all of the different types of columns that you can create. So you can see here like the, the amount, um, the project uh, total amount, I used the currency column for. So you can just, you know, create an actual column here. You can name it something else, obviously, so that when you type in number, it will automatically turn it into a dollar amount. Um, let's go back and customize the field type. You can add a checkbox. So maybe you want just to see if it's you want a done column. So right off the bat, if you're done that project, you can come here and just checkbox it. So to get the these um, these different types of columns here, which is the status where you can choose, you can choose one type of status, or if you want to choose the project type, see how I can choose more than one thing. Like if a client got both of these things, I can select more than one. So these two types of columns are called multiple select and single select. So if you only want to be able to select one, meaning there's you can't choose another status, it can only be one type of status, then you'll create a single select column. If you want to be able to choose more than one option, like in this project type here, then you'll create a multiple select column. So again, going back to the test here, I'll show you what that looks like. So we can do single select and let's say this is uh, status. So once you hit single select, you can go save. This is just giving me a warning because I'm converting the type of uh, column it is. So right here, you can see that I have that one option. If you want to create more than one option, you'll need to go back into customize field type and then create more options right here. So maybe this first option is not started and maybe this next option here is in progress right so you can start to see here you know how a, let's just choose that one how uh, creating those multiple options works and then you can save it there's so much more that this this can do i'm just showing you the basics that I use to create the client project tracker so that you can actually get started. And once you get in there, you can start to play around with things, customize it, that kind of thing. You can see here, I can only select one. It's a drop menu for just one choice. So if I wanted to create that other one, which is the multiple select right here, like for example, project type, then I can create, you know, name the different projects. This is project one, project two, etc. And then when I hit save, you'll see that I'll be able to select more than one for that column. So that's kind of to show you how to at least get started with that. So like I said, guys, this is what I use to keep track of all of my client projects. And it's been so nice. Like I first started off with just using a spreadsheet, but the fact that this really allows me to, you know, move attachments in here, like I can literally just upload something in here. I can drag it in here or choose something have it uploaded and have it just sitting 
in this spreadsheet ready for me to use. And whenever I need to come back and re-download that to use it, it's ready to go for me. You know, I can, I can even see a preview of that attachment and it doesn't need to be an image. It can be a Word document, it can be a PDF, all that kind of stuff. It accepts all of those different file formats. So if you wanna keep this super simple, guys, to create your first client project tracker with this tool, click on the link below, step one, in the description to take you to this tool here called Airtable. And once you get there, create your first base. Create a base from scratch and start to put to create your different column headers depending on what you need. Like I said, what really helps me is having client name, project type, project notes, a place to upload attachments, which again, you don't see here, uh, status of the project, due date, and the total amount uh, of that project so that I can then see my totals and how I'm doing in terms of gaining new clients every single month. So the client name is, you know, it's already set out there for you on the, the scratch base that you're gonna create. Your notes is already there. If you wanna move things around, you can just click and drag to reorder the columns, which is really cool. So that's a general overview of how to create this. If you want more tutorials in terms of how to use this, you know, I can go into a lot, of, a lot more detail with this tool, um, but I just wanted to give you an overview so you can go right ahead, go jump in and create this for yourself because I know the urgency in needing a client project tracker because when you need one, you really need one. That means it's, it's real, things are getting real. So because this tool has been super helpful for me, the link that I'm sharing with you in the description below is an affiliate link. And like we say in all of our descriptions, we're only sharing affiliate links with you, not because of any commissions we make, but because the tools that we use, we've used them and we are happy with them and they're super helpful to us. That is why we're sharing them with you. So if you did find this helpful, let me know in the description below what you guys think. If you want, if you have questions on this, if you want me to create more tutorials with this tool, I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna collaborate with other freelancers, other creative entrepreneurs, we do have a creative business success Facebook group that you can join for free. And there's all types of creatives, the creative entrepreneurs, small business owners in here. What we do is share a ton of tips, marketing tutorials, like on this channel, but more catered towards helping you specifically with what you need. So we'll always be answering questions here, um, any sort of inspiration that we find, we'll share it in here. You can see other members are also posting things in here and that's that's the entire point, is being able to collaborate with other like-minded creative entrepreneurs, going through the same struggles and just helping each other out. I'll put the link in the description below as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Back from the dead.